Okay, here we are. So we got the Peg 36 Trail, the Terra Kiger 5, and the Wild Horse 5. I'm gonna do my best not to turn this into a comparison video. Here we are, my first impressions of the Nike Pegasus 36 Trail. These are my first steps. I haven't run in these shoes yet. And this is a new, uh, a reinvented, I should say, trail running shoe from Nike. Let's rock and roll. First impressions, ready to go. Okay. Oh man. So first thoughts is good cushion through the heel. Really good cushion through the heel. It's feeling real nice. Um, I do know that they put some beefed up lugs on the bottom of the outsole. I'm not sure how tall they are exactly. I'm guessing, I'm guessing four millimeters, but I'll measure those for you later. And man, comfortable, very comfortable so far. But I will say, I think everyone's probably a little confused between what trail shoe to go with from Nike the Wild Horse 5, the Terra Kiger 5, or the Peg 36 Trail. So we will answer those questions for you down the road, but all right, what else is going on? I'm just feeling out the shoes, feeling them out. Man, nice cushion again through that heel. So it's got, uh, it's got the air pockets in the heel and the forefoot, just so you know what Nike's known for. So maybe that's what I'm I'm feeling springy, I'm feeling springy. All right, let's rock and roll. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of that beauty out there. Okay, it's pretty windy out, so we're not gonna do too much talking out here, but hold on one second. All right, here we go. We got the Peg 36 Trail, first impressions. We've got the Wild Horse 5, and yes, the Terra Kiger 5. I'm gonna do my best not to turn this into a comparison video. We'll probably do that five to seven days from now, but rather stick to my first gut reaction to how the Peg 36 trails did today out on some pretty amazing trails here in Colorado. Let's just say I'm a little surprised if not shocked. A little, I was not expecting what I got out of this guy today. All right, let's go break it down in the studio. And welcome to the studio, everybody. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, thanks for stopping by. Just so you know, this is not a strictly a running shoe review 
YouTube channel. This is a daily running vlog channel. Hence, the style of filming that you saw out on the mountains today. You're gonna get a lot of that. Uh, if you, yes, I'll just invite you right now. If you hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. But basically, like, I film beauty. I like to really try and tell a visual story through my, uh, whether it's a running shoe first impression, whether it's a, a racing vlog, whether it's a, a training vlog, what have you. So anyway, I just appreciate you stopping by if this is your first time here. All right, let's dive in to my first impressions of the Nike Pegasus 36 Trail. And I should also mention this is not NOT, not my full review. That will happen after 50 miles. All right, so here we go. First of all, you need to know it is a neutral trail running shoe. What does that mean? There's no stability built into the midsole. In fact, I would say it's one of the most nimble and loosey-goosey midsoles I've ever seen in a trail running shoe. So if you need help with prone overpronation, supination through your foot strike, this is not the trail running shoe for you. And moving onto the drop so it's a 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe pretty standard for nike shoes these days i like 10 millimeters for going uphill we'll talk more about how this performed today on uphill on the uphill work uh but anyway 10 millimeters it felt pretty good usually i'm in the six to eight millimeter range as my favorite range for the offset or the drop and for the weight we're looking at 8.6 ounces or 244 grams Great weight for a trail shoe. Most trail running shoes that I own are at least nine and a half and usually over 10 ounces in my sizing. So great work, Nike, creating a lightweight daily trail running shoe. And moving on to that upper first impression, a lot of good things happening. I'll just say very comfortable. There's no other way to say it. Say it. It's a mesh upper, completely redesigned. And but what I'm probably most excited about, oh, there's a couple things. I guess, okay, the skin overlays over the toe box to help keep the rain out, the puddles out, or maybe even creek crossings to a certain extent. Uh, it's also here through the eyelet system. They just did a nice job trying to keep as much moisture out while still allowing the toe box to breathe uh, through those hot summer runs. But look at this, the, the, uh, the tongue on the Peg 36 trail is pretty thin. And you know my concerns about the Vimero 14 tongue. So it, this is thin, but it is, it's a little more padding than the Vimero 14 tongue. So it felt amazing today when I laced it up. It just gave a nice lockdown feel combining the tongue with a flywire system uh, that, that what Nike is known for now, this flywire, just to help your midfoot really lock down into the shoe. So overall through the midfoot, or sorry, through the, uh, through the upper, really on point Nike with what you're doing there. And moving on to that midsole, all oh, good things as well. So Cushlon foam from heel to toe versus, okay, I know I wasn't gonna mention the Terra Kiger 5 today, but the Terra Kiger 5 mixes different uh, foams into their midsole. Not the case with the Pegasus 36 Trail. Same foam all through the midsole. And then also Zoom Air units, one in the heel and one in the forefoot. Spot on, very comfortable. Uh, didn't feel too bubbly like too much air in there, you know what I mean? It just was a nice cushioned ride out on the trails. And then onto the outsole, I was actually not correct today about the depth of the lugs. So the outsole pattern, you can see it there on your screen. These lugs are actually, I measured them, they're about two to three millimeters. I thought they were closer to four to five millimeters when I bought the shoe. So I prefer four to five, even six for a trail shoe, but that's okay. I think what Nike is going for is that crossover be between really buffed out trails, almost like dirt roads. Uh, and if you're commuting to a trail run, meaning you're running on pavement or cement or concrete uh, to get to the trails, you're gonna be able to pull it off very easily in the shoe because the depth of the lugs is not very high. So anyway, I'm measuring about two to three millimeters for that lug depth. And a couple positives real quick, very comfortable and this heel counter is spot on. Lots of good cushion through the heel counter here, what basically wraps around your heel and then goes up your Achilles tendon. Oh, so comfortable. 
amazing Nike. Good work again, once again, on the upper comfort. And one quick drawback, I'm actually already noticing a little bit of compression uh, through the midsole. So I'm hoping that the durability of this midsole doesn't break down too quickly uh, considering it is a trail shoe. And here in Colorado, we have a lot of aggressive trails with lots of rocks, roots, like you're, you're, not, you're beating up your shoes out there on the trails. So anyway, that's one little drawback so far. Uh, talk to me after 50 miles and I just hope that the, the pop and the cushion doesn't escape the midsole too quickly. And moving on to the good stuff. All right, how did this shoe actually feel and perform on the trails today? Ladies and gentlemen, ridiculously comfortable. Like, I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked at how comfortable the shoe is. Compared to the Pegasus 36 Road, it's different. It's just very, very different. I was pleasantly surprised. As you know, like I've struggled with injuries in the past and um, you know, as far as like protecting my legs and my feet, out on the trails during high volume months of running at, you know, in the hot summer months, like I am bullish. I'm bullish on this shoe for absorbing some of that, uh, some of that pounding on those rocks, on those hard packed trails compared to, and, and it has the 10 millimeter drop compared to, let's say some ultra shoes that are zero drop. And I feel like ultra is amazing, but in there, a lot of, a lot of ultra shoes have a nice, good cushioned ride, but you have to deal with zero drop shoes. So anyway, very comfortable. I'm, I'm excited. I'm beyond excited. I'll just put it that way. And, but there is a little, okay, as far as performance drawback on these steep uphill sections, I did feel like the midsole was just a little too mushy. I was actually thinking about on my run today, gosh, I kind of wish I had the Solomon Speed Cross 5 on my foot with just a little firmer midsole. So I don't think that this shoe will be the best for steep uphill trail running, just so you know. And, but anyway, great lockdown feel, incredible comfort through the midsole, but I'm wondering if it's gonna be best suited for trail running that doesn't go over 500 feet of vertical gain, maybe 750 feet total, just because uh, I just felt like I was working a little too hard on the uphill sections. And, and, and as far as grip, like I wasn't slipping around at all. Granted, I wasn't going very fast today. So stay tuned to see how it does on faster speeds, especially on the downhill sections. All right, there we go. Keyword is trail. That's right, because we took it out on the trail today. So excited to be back out on the trails as I continue to come back from my injury. And yes, question of the day, it's going to be the exact same. Hold on. The exact same question of the day that I asked after my first impression of the road version of the Pegasus 36. What on a scale of one to 10, what is your interest level in picking up the Nike Pegasus 36 trail mentioned down below one through 10. Where do you fall on the scale? That would be amazing because again, this is a reinvented version of the Nike Pegasus trail lineup. And so maybe you totally forgot about this lineup from Nike. And frankly, like I said earlier, I've never run in this lineup before. So I'm bullish, excited, really excited because, okay, one more, one more point. <clears throat> I have a lot of ultra shoes and I have a lot of Solomon shoes. Solomon's like aggressive, high altitude, big rocks, like, oh, just like go, go eat a mountain alive type running shoe on the trails. Whereas this guy I could see will be that happy medium between Solomon and Ultra. You hear what I'm saying? So anyway, good job Nike so far. All right, that is it for tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my first impressions of the Nike Pegasus 36 trail. And again, if you're new and you like today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog and the next vlog and the next vlog. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, good times. See you tomorrow.